Hi everyone! In this video, I want to show you a trick that I use to memorize all of the trigonometry derivatives. So during the calculus test, I would write down sine, arrow, cosine, arrow, negative sine, and then negative cosine. So basically it's a sequence that alternates between sine and cosine, and there are two negative signs here. So what does this tell us? Well, let's start with the derivative of sine of x. Well, according to the arrow, it's going to be cosine of x. And what is the derivative of cosine of x? Well, it's going to be negative sine of x. And the derivative of negative sine of x is going to be what? Negative cosine of x. And finally, the derivative of negative cosine of x, we just loop all the way around again, and we get sine of x. And the crazy thing about this is that it doesn't just tell you the derivative, it also tells you the antiderivative. So for example, what is the integral of negative cosine of x? Well, we're here and we just move left and we get negative sine of x. And just remember to plus a constant c. I also draw this diagram. So we have secant of x, secant of x. Down here is cosecant of x. And here is also cosecant of x. But just remember there is a negative sign here and the arrow is pointing to the right. But over here, the arrows are pointing to the left and then there's a number two at the top and I'll show you why in a second. The last piece to the puzzle is really easy to remember. We just have tangent and cotangent. Let's start with the derivative of tangent of x. Well, the arrow is pointing this way. So we go here and we see secant and then there's a number two at the top. So we have secant squared. And same logic here. What is the derivative of cotangent? It's going to be what? It's going to be negative cosecant squared. So this is what we have. If we start on the left, it's going to be slightly different. So what is the derivative of secant of x? Well, just erase these two arrows here and you have secant of x times tangent of x. And finally, the derivative of cosecant of x is going to be negative cosecant of x times cotangent of x. So that's basically it for today. I hope you found this video helpful. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to smash that subscribe button if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next video.